Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to Hobby Homies. We are your weekly tabletop podcast. I am Shane, hanging out with Fox. What's up, man? Heaps, man. Church is not here. <laughs> Again. Again. <laughs> I look to the void for a flare or a signal or a beep of sorts, but alas, there's nothing. The void is empty. Yeah, it's missing its glorious beard. Um, its glorious leader. Mm. You know how we joke about churchy, not joke about, you know how church is in the void. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Good save. And, and, we talk, yeah, and we talk about how he's in the void constantly. Well, I, yeah. I watch uh, one YouTuber called CoffeeZilla. You've probably mm. seen some of his videos. Heard of, yes. He has made a separate channel called Voidzilla. Oh, yeah where he films from what he dubs The Void. Okay. And I just want him to understand, we're not going to send him a cease and desist, because I know he probably watches our podcast. Everybody does. Of course. It's the greatest podcast on the planet. Earth. It's number one. Uh, well. In Lithuania. <laughs> yeah, facts. Yeah. And sometimes Sweden, <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> um, and I just want him to know we're not going to send a cease and desist. Yeah. But. We could. We could. Like, if we wanted to, we could. <laughs> we want him to know we could. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we, we yeah. don't have a $10 million studio like him. Yeah. But we do have a void and we had it first, so. so you, it's like if you're my mate who tries to buy a silencer for his rifle from New Zealand, which they're legal over there. Hang on, And slow customs down. send you a letter saying, don't do that again. What? Well, that's so <laughs> strangely specific. <laughs> say again, what happened? In the specific, s- as I said, my mate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, did you say like when my mate? Yeah. I thought you said, it's like if your mate. Oh. So I was like, oh, you're yeah. like a very specific hypothetical. No, not my here. mate. <laughs> not my mate. Someone else's not mate. Not my mate. Wait, so your mate tried to get a silencer sent? Yeah, for his rifle. He's got a rifle. He <laughs> has <laughs> rifles. <laughs> a couple, um, maybe. So who would do this? I'm trying to think of all your mates that would do this. I mean, this I, feels I, like a big- I use the term mate loosely. It's, oh, okay. I haven't seen him for a few years. Okay, so churchy yeah, then. We were, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's churchy. It's churchy. Please come back to the studio. We miss you. We have to put up missing signs down at the Six Ways post. Yeah. Have you seen this man? And yeah. just have a picture of just the abyss. They'll be like, what did he do? And they're like, oh, no, these people are looking for this man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, this episode is about- Twilight 2000. That's right. Mm. Finish each other's. Sandwiches. Delicious. <laughs> so, Twilight 2000 is a RPG yeah. that we have played one big big old session. We've done, yeah, we did one online session where we made our characters. Oh, yeah. And then when, all about that. when our pocket DM was here in the flesh, we did yep. a big old session. Yeah, we had a big old session. Oh. Just the three of us. Just, just, just a session. big old sweaty session. Just just a sesh just, in the studio. Just three dudes being boys. You know? <laughs> three boys being boys. Being boys. <laughs> some <rambling> boys. <laughs> Playing our RPG. <laughs> Playing make-believe. <laughs> Playing make-believe. <laughs> <laughs> and I shoot him with my gun. <laughs> yeah. Does it work? <laughs> Roll the dice. So, big men. We have played a few RPGs now with Ollie. Yeah, he's run, oh man, like so many. Going back to like the Star Wars RPG. Yep, loved it. He's done a couple with... With just me, like um, a traveler RPG, he's, he's yep. done 40k RPGs yeah. with us and others in the Discord. Yeah, yeah. You <sighs> played one where you were like um, the apprentice of a- Oh, yeah, like an one? acolyte one. An acolyte, yeah. I think yeah. it was actually called acolyte. Oh, no, okay. dark acolyte. I don't know, something. It was dark There's been heresy? so many. Or was that a different one? Anyway, Maybe? I don't know. You were like the apprentice of a- What do you call them? Inquisitor. Inquisitor. Yeah, I was like his um, intern. You were like an intern. Yeah. Unpaid intern. Of course. Yeah, naturally. <laughs> Is there any other guy? <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> not in, not Capitalism. In capitalism. <laughs> yeah. yeah uh, that one was... How did... Side tangent before we talk about Twilight sure. 2000. What was it like playing by yourself, essentially? Well, I've done that before. I've y- been a teenager. Yeah, but what but, was um, it like being guided by Ollie <laughs> oh. whilst you played by yourself? Oh, being guided while you play with yourself. Yeah, yeah. Different. Whole different but also game. done that before. Man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I don't know. It's um, it's different. Like, I, I, and I assume most people are the same. Like, it's good to bounce ideas off the other players, right? Sure. Like, it's like, all right, what are we doing? This is a situation. Yep. What are our options? Where When it's just me, I'm just like, uh, I got no one else uh, to blame but myself. Pretty much. You're like, 
If I'm here, who's driving the car? <laughs> oh wait, still me. I gotta drive the car. <laughs> yeah, it's like that. Exactly like it's that. Like yeah, that. it's it's a it's a surreal experience. Yeah, um, it's fun though. Like it's a lot of fun. Like Ollie would help out. Sure. You know, he'd probably go into more detail in specific things that um, he wouldn't for a group. Sure. Because obviously, with a group, you've got more people to pick up on what's happening, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like someone asks a, like a question you don't even think about, like. Mm -hmm. What color shoes is he wearing? And you're like, I didn't even I didn't get past his that. knees. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> From the top down. <laughs> From the top down. Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, cool. I was curious what that would be like. I almost was mm. like, I was like, it sounds fine. It sounds like you're just playing a, you know, when you play a game, a, a computer game or whatever, yeah, play like yourself a, for yeah, the story. Like story driven game. Yeah. And the availability that you have issues that you have when you're playing with a group is obviously less apparent. It's none. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah. Hey Shane, are you free? Oh, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Um, yep. yeah, that's cool. Yeah, right. yeah. Yeah. So Twilight 2000. Yep. How would you describe the law? Because you'll have a better grip on this. I think, cause I don't really understand what happened before I was born. Oh, okay. Actually, probably before Y2K, I'm not very familiar with the universe. <laughs> yeah, it's been great. Yeah, yeah, it's been great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, back before TikTok, people talked to each other. What do you mean? <laughs> By a like, like what we're doing right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But without these and without the audience. Oh, what's the point? There was none. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. What a depressing existence. <laughs> wow. No wonder everyone had houses. And, yep. <laughs> yeah, they could afford <laughs> houses. They're so much more productive. <laughs> True. <laughs> True. Okay, so people talk to each other. Yep. So, Wait, so, do you want me to tell you what I know about the law? Go for it. Yeah, let me know. And then you and then you fix fix me up. <laughs> I'll straighten everything up and fill in the blanks. I believe, based on what Ollie was trying to con communicate to me, and he uses like normal English, which is very difficult for me to decipher, but this is what mm. I picked up. Sure. It is, it kind of like, it's our world up until sort of like, the 80s and then it branches into alternate history where it's like w when the cold war would happen instead there's actually a bigger conflict that results in them dropping a bunch of nuclear weapons and this is the aftermath of that pretty much and then i can't remember i think like there's still war there's still like armies fighting each other but there's also warlords and other just survivors and it's yep pretty much complete anarchy you've pretty much summed it up so yeah oh, so good. basically everything went the same way as it did up until yeah the cold war and the cold war went hot basically yeah yeah so um there was wars more in the soviet side of things sure so where that broke down in our world yeah it didn't they had like internal little wars but it didn't break down as much sure and then yeah smaller tactical nukes were used and then like it's like everyone just one-upping them each other right sure it's like oh you bombed that you know, little um, army base, we're going to bomb your city. Oh. Like, you bombed our city, we're bombing your capital city. Oh, you bombed our capital city, we're going to bomb you. We're going to bomb the moon. <laughs> yeah. Wait. <laughs> no, don't do it. We all lose. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it's just everyone's one-upping each other until there was no one left. Yeah, including yeah. the moon. And, and and there was there's forces that are, yeah, like you said, there's basically, I guess you could call them renegade um companies or, yep. or squads or whatever's left that they've got like we've got no orders coming from head office but we were ordered to guard this spot and that's what we're going to do and until new until orders someone show up <laughs> and, and and then they they from there they maybe stray from their you know their army doctrine ways and 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 just start going like everyone else like you know every man for himself yeah and uh yeah so basically cold war gone hot which is a pretty interesting universe like you can compare it to things like stalker stuff yep. like that yeah um yeah i did keep saying it's like daisy without do zombies but <laughs> yeah that, right. that's basically stalker right pretty much yeah, yeah yeah i don't know i've never played stalker Stalker leans more into like anomalies and like mutants and oh, stuff sure. like that but this game was kind of like it's people v people yeah uh radiation's a thing to worry about yeah um but you're not gonna get munched on by a rad bear or something. A rad bear. Oh, man. <laughs> rad bear. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, our story picked up. We inserted ourselves into the story as best we could for yep. immersion. So, it's like uh, whilst this Cold War was getting hotter, mm. 
We are very specialised radio technicians. <laughs> yeah, so prior to that, oh, sure. we wrote up our characters. Oh, yeah, I forgot all about that. Yeah, yeah. and it uses the same system that Traveller used, which I, I f- I'm slipping, but I feel like the people that wrote Traveller, which is a sci-fi one, sure. used uh, the same company that produced this game. Oh, right. I think it carried on, but I'm, don't think, quote you me. You think there is some sort of relationship there? Connection there, yeah. yeah. Whether it's like one or two developers worked on both or something, but it uses a very similar thing where you start as an 18-year-old yeah. and you go, all right, what did I do after school? Okay, I, like, oh, you right. were a farmer yeah. or, and I was a mechanic <laughs> or something like that, yeah. right? Yeah. So, like, it's like, all right, cool. So, that we, all right, that session or that, season whatever you want to call it yeah lasted four years yeah now you're 22 what do you want what and you roll to see if the war breaks out right yeah it doesn't okay cool so you spend another tenure doing um something, something else could be the same thing could be something else and you and i sort of we kind of went blue collar yeah we did and um and then it got to a point where we both sort of rolled and like yep no nah, that's it that's done our character progression is done oh yeah. meanwhile you're doing that you're getting traits and you're getting experience and different things based on what you've done yeah based basically. on your job um yeah and there's things that you can't you can and can't do like you have to have rolled x amount to go into like like a white collar kind of thing yeah you had to have done uni or some sort of Something, education yeah to yeah because i remember i was like i want to do that and he's like you can't <laughs> and i was like oh would you call me like, i was like well, yeah <laughs> i was like what yep uh and yeah. then i was like all right cool i'll do this first and do that and then i was like and then i'll do this he's like and you can't <laughs> <laughs> yeah you failed your cop exam <laughs> yeah that's how i did yeah. yeah so i had to go back to farming for another four years or something yeah yeah, so we did all that, and then yeah, we rolled it, and and then the war broke out, and then yeah, you and I were contracted by NATO to go and repair radio stations in Sw- in Sweden. Yeah, uh, up in the mountains, <laughs> in the mount- in the remote mountains, Switzerland, Sweden. I thought Sweden, but you're right. It's the same place, isn't it? Yeah, I think they're all one big <laughs> that section of Europe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Netherlands, the Netherlands, <laughs> <laughs> the Netherlands, the Netherlands, the lands yep. of the Nether. Mm. It's where Churchy is right now. Yeah. But, well, he's got out of the void and headed to the nether. <laughs> yeah. They're like on the same... Same astral plane. Yeah. 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 Not in this corporeal mm-hmm. realm. No. So, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, we and, were going there to remove asbestos, I think. Was yeah. That that that's, was and we're going to put up... What were we going to put up? Chip Rock instead. Chip Rock, yeah. yeah. We, we, our our headcanon was that we signed this contract that was just ridiculous and then they'd have gone like of course we're going to get these guys to do it they're doing it for like a slab of beer yeah they c- we can fly them or we can boat them i don't know if they have planes back then. we can fly them from australia yep. to here send them up into the mountains for a month to repair a series of radio stations yep <clears throat> for a couple slabs of beer <laughs> yeah. which in australia was about eighty thousand dollars at that time <laughs> but over here is like nineteen dollars yep yep so they'll and we didn't realize that till we got there and we're like, no, oh, well, we've signed the contract. So that's right. Once it's signed, we got to do it. Yep. So we're the Aussie battlers who could. <laughs> and uh, we were up in one of the radio stations. Yep. Broke back mountain style when the <laughs> war broke out. A little bit less broke back. And well, I mean, <laughs> much more mountain. Much more mountain. Yep. Mounting? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, I misheard you. My mistake. <laughs> Suddenly this was homo erotica. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't got that far yet. <laughs> Have you seen that meme that's going around where it's like, you can't say I gave up without saying I gay, so never give up. <laughs> <laughs> that was like us, we gave up. Sure. So, <laughs> on the job. <laughs> so, yep. yep. And yep. then, oh, I mean, war had already broken out, I suppose. Yeah, but um, I think it got uh, a whole lot worse yeah. while we were up there and we ended up hunkering down in this little radio station, because burning the, the floorboards. Because the main town, like we were sent up with like a rifle or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And they're, they're like, like, you won't need this because you're not, you know, know any of the front line or whatever. But you, we're like, why are you giving this Yeah, we're like, us? hang on. And they're like, don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry, you won't need it. <laughs> yeah. And then why do we have it? Point it this way and pull that. Yeah. yeah. But why do we... Why do we have it? I'm like, hey, don't worry about it. Yeah. I wasn't until you gave it to us. <laughs> yeah. And now we're a little confused. Now I thought we were repairing concerned. radio stations. Yeah. Are there bears in Sweden? We don't have... Yes. Oh, there you go. Maybe maybe that's what we thought it was. <laughs> maybe. And they're like, and if you see any enemies... <laughs> what? what do you mean? <laughs> enemy, enemy bears. Enemy bears. Yep. <laughs> bears or otherwise. Mm-hmm. Let's really lock in on that otherwise. I want to know more about this. Anyway. You're right. So we actually witnessed a nuclear explosion far away in the main city. 
Yeah, yeah. And that's kind of when we knew mm, best go inside. Yeah, yeah. And so we hunkered down in the radio thing, burning the floorboards, mm. sniffing the asbestos. Just trying to stay alive. Just trying to stay alive. <laughs> yep. Trying to keep up our body warmth. <laughs> and I think we got, I think it was like three months or six months later or something. And we we, we basically, supplies are getting low. We had our trusty old Toyota Hilux there. Yeah. With 76 litres of diesel. That's right. And we were like, all right, it's time to get out of here. Well, it's it's like radiation is not like a problem for us because we can't let it be because our, no. our supplies are getting low. We've consumed enough asbestos. We're going to die anyway. Yeah. It's a matter of time. It's yeah. a race now. <laughs> it's it's a between race. asbestos and <laughs> radiation. radiation. We'll yeah. see which wins. <laughs> be a good case study. <laughs> but yeah, so our supplies were just getting dangerously low. And yep. And that's what we rolled up. It's funny because when we rolled up character creation, we had no idea what we were doing. Mm, like, nah. we didn't know what to expect. Not in the slightest. And then when we got into the scenario, we were like, thank goodness we grabbed the Lux. Yeah. The High Lux. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And a backpack. Yep. And the rest of the stuff that we took as well. Yeah, yeah. This all seemed very useful, which is great. Yep. And so, begin scene, enter stage left. What... What is your recollection of like the first things we did after emerging from that bunker? We ended up jumping in the car and then cruising down, sussing out a few like farmhouses because it's quite remote where we were. Yeah. Sussing out a few farmhouses and what was left. I think the first one we came across, I was like, and it's burned to the ground. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, um, because it's basically one dirt road up into the mountains. Yeah, yeah. And then a few like... Really ramshackled farm houses scattered yep. along that. Sheds and barns and things yep. like that. Yeah. And so the game sort of works like in hexes. Yeah. And so that whole area was one hex. So we yep. could kind of like as an action or whatever. We could search this the surrounding area. Yeah. It's not so granular that you're like searching that barn. Okay. Nothing in there. Searching the house. Yeah. Well, okay. Let's search the outhouse. Yeah. Yeah. Which is the house outside of the house. Yeah. For the international <laughs> listeners. Yeah. Indeed. <laughs> Yeah, you kind of just like search the, the vicinity. Yeah. I think the first thing we found was like a couple of broken like CB radios. Yeah, like the Kmart ones. Yeah. That we joked. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. <clears throat> Hello Kitty ones or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I love that. Like, um, <laughs> what's that? Dory spy. Explorer. I was thinking like that Spy Kids. Spy Kids. Oh, spy Kids. Where they released that whole range of spy gear. And I remember yep. thinking, I, I was probably like 19 when they released that stuff. Oh, yeah. And I was like, that's pretty cool. <laughs> it's like I could get that for my room. <laughs> and it's cheap. Yeah. I could play with that at home. Stewie would love it. <laughs> but I'm like, I'm also 19. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, I'll buy this. I'm buying this for a nine-year-old child. They'd be like, they're a bit old for this, aren't they? <laughs> 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 so, yeah, we emerged yep. and we sussed out some local areas and then we just kept tracking down the dirt path. Yeah, yeah. And then what? Then we came around the bend. Yep. We saw a bit of a, what looked like a military military checkpoint with a few armed guards mm. uh, talking talking to some civilians. Drunk a lunk a drunk a de darm guards. <laughs> no? What? No. <laughs> Futurama? <laughs> you seen that? The secret of slams on a need to know basis. Drunk a lunk a drunk a drunk a de dunk. No. <laughs> Do you watch Futurama? Yeah. Oh, really? It's, yeah, the, yeah. it's like the Willy Wonka Futurama episode. Oh, I can't remember. It's With Slurms, uh, parting Slurms McKenzie. Oh, yeah. I know. Okay, wham, wham, wassle. <laughs> I think that's what he says. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Whoops. No. <laughs> anyway, well, yeah. hang on. Uh, sidetracked us. Uh, yeah, very much so. <laughs> what would you say? Drunk. Armed guards. Armed guards. <laughs> yep. Yep. Yeah, chatting to some civilians, and then we watched the guards execute the civilians. Yeah, from what we could tell, unarmed civilians. Mm. And so we were caught in a bind. Yeah. Because there's only one road out of here, and those people that just killed those other people yep. are guarding uh, it. They're on the road. And what we could see is that they had NATO clothes on. Yeah. But we were like, it's been three months, mm. six months maybe. All hell's broken loose. What if they're not actually nato also they just killed some unarmed civilians <laughs> yeah yeah what if that was other people like us coming down the just mountains coming down the mountain here she comes here she comes yeah. <laughs> this is a musical episode <laughs> <laughs> 
asking questions in school is a great way to learn. If you try that stuff here, you might get your legs broke. We once found a dead guy face down in the slurm. It could easily happen again to you folk. So keep your head down and keep your mouth shut. Drunk a lunk a drunk, drunk a dee dunk. Nice. <laughs> I'm myself. I feel like I feel like I've seen that episode, but I just it's been so long. I just More can't watch it after this episode, dude. I have to. I mean, have to now. I have to. You'll be like, oh yeah. And then the song will come on and I'll be like staring at you to see your reaction. And you'll just be like Is <laughs> 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 that so disappointing when you show someone yeah. something you're uh, so excited for and they're like, Oh okay. I've it's like either I have seen this yeah. or it's like yeah, cool. <laughs> I wouldn't watch it again, but I'm glad you showed like, me. No, no, no. <laughs> you no. rewind. No, you didn't get it. This is the funny bit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you see, the reason this is funny, you pause it. Yeah. So the reason this is funny is because you, you have to see the first it. one, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, yep. sorry. Hang on. So we witnessed that. Yeah. Yeah. And, we, and you and I are just like, what the actual just happened? Yeah. yeah. And we're like, well, how do we proceed? Because if we go down there, we might just get, and like, in my head, I was like, if we go down there, they're not going to kill us because, like, the campaign ends. And, you know, obviously, we've got a bit of plot armor there. <laughs> yeah. But then I was like, I'm trying to ignore that and mm. think about what would you and I actually do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, in, like, and in that real would life, terrify the shit out of me. We don't wear plot armor. No, we don't. Some may, some may think because we have a podcast. Yeah. We could, we could die, die <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. This could be out and we could be already dead. Yeah. Somehow we schedule it and then... And, and then, then die. we die. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is foreshadowing. <laughs> <laughs> we jinxed ourselves. Imagine. Well, I'm staying away from buses. <laughs> you reckon buses? You reckon you die by a bus? I reckon I would die by a I'm bus. I'm not going to throw a shade at anyone, but that's a pretty bad way to go. You threw a shade at a whole heap of dead <laughs> bus people. That's what I was. <laughs> I mean, like, okay, are you saying on the bus or under a bus? I mean, are you going to get hit by a bus or are you going to be on a bus that then somehow causes you to die? I feel like... Because like, you could, like, choke on a peanut on a bus and you're still technically killed by a bus. I think there was the peanut, to be honest. Bus assist. Bus assist, yeah. <laughs> Have you seen... Sorry, no attention. <laughs> There's a funny TikTok. Where guys, I watch TikTok, dude. Yeah, okay, all right. This is a funny short video of sorts. <laughs> <laughs> on oh, the internet. Go on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And a bloke is like... Um, you know, like... Anyway, so he, he opens the door for, for a guy with a bag. Okay. And the guy's like, oh, thanks. He's like, yeah, no worries. And as he's walking, it goes, T -t 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 -t, and he gets like assist markers. <laughs> and he's like, oh, no. <laughs> so basically, it suggests that the guy went in there and shot people. Oh, wow. <laughs> it was like a bank or something. <laughs> sure. He's just getting these assist markers. He's like, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> like, What's happening? Yeah. So that, I guess that's what the bus would have got yeah. in that situation. That's For what, sure. Anyway. Yeah. So <laughs> we witnessed them kill innocents. At, well, we don't know about innocent, but we know unarmed <laughs> From what as far we could as tell. we could tell. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we thought, why risk it for the biscuit? So we slapped it into reverse. Yeah. High tailed out of there. And we were, they actually, before, before we did oh, that, they, they waved. waved us down. So they mm. saw us. So they just killed two people and they're like, anyways, <laughs> come on down. And thought like, we'd be like, oh, thank goodness. It's all cleared of <laughs> yeah. those horrible, horrible civilians. They've cut the line for us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We yeah. must have that. Um, what's that? Q, Q, Q jump thing. Oh, uh, like uh, yeah, movie yeah. world and stuff. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> like We've the got ultimate ticket. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, oh, these guys got Q jump. Imagine <laughs> <laughs> if that happened. Yeah. Every time at Disneyland. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Uh, we bought Q jump. Everyone's like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this episode has a dark connotation. <laughs> True. <laughs> Sorry about all the murder. Yeah. Apologies. <laughs> Most <laughs> sin sincerest apologies. <laughs> um. <laughs> so they waved us down. Yep. We hightailed. We're it. like, nah. Book it in reverse. Big nah. Yeah. Big nah. Big nah. Um, and we we just like GTA style hid the Hilux like behind yeah. a shed or something. So I reckon we hid under it like under some a rock? bushes. Huh? Under some bushes? <laughs> under some bushes. Like some, like we, I reckon we got branches from a tree. <laughs> yeah. Parked the Hilux, got some branches and like just chucked it over the car. <laughs> this was a comedy show. <laughs> We'd just like park it on the side of the road and put one branch on it. And <laughs> yeah. they're just like <laughs> straight past <laughs> yeah. them. Do you reckon they went behind that big pile of branches? Not a chance. Not a chance. There's, there's a big Hilux there. They couldn't be there. There's yeah. no room. Yeah. <laughs> there's no room for their Hilux behind that giant Hilux. So yep. we ducked out at this old barn or whatever. Yeah, we, we laid... Oh, we we sort of laid low and then we saw them fly past. That's right. Yeah, yeah we did. Yeah, and yep. we, we 
we peaked, we copped a peak, mm. and we think there was like anywhere between two and five of them in the car. In yeah. the car, because we now we've got them divided. We th- we were like, hmm, do we go after them, or do we go back and suss out the checkpoint? Yeah. So we actually like foot slogged it down to the checkpoint in yeah. the bushes. Yeah, yeah. All real, ghillie suit, real stealthy, like sticks in front of us, rolling some mad recon checks. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yep. and we had a little sussy wussy, and we could see mm. there was only two of them down there. Two down there. Like, two of them, two of us. Yeah. I like those odds <laughs> for them, so we need to thin the numbers. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So then, yeah, we're like, all right, shoot that guy. <laughs> and, like, a part of us was like, man, that feels like it's escalating real quick, like, out of nowhere. <laughs> We've come out, and the first thing we do when we see someone is shoot them. Dude. You know how Daisy goes. That's right. Shoot on sight. K- K- KOS. You have Kill to. on sight. Yeah, you have to. Unfortunately, it's a sad, sad world, but that's the that's the way it is. And we thought we were trying to like that's justify it. We're is. like, if they had a shot armed people, that's different, right? That is different. But and we're shooting armed people. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we're better than them. We we by the rules form. of which they live by. Yeah. By their own morality. Yeah. We are judging them with that. <laughs> yeah, and we can. And we can. Because we didn't shoot unarmed people. No, they're armed. <laughs> they're armed. Speaking of which, not only, but we specifically aimed for the arm of one of the guys. Yep. The hope was to like get him to drop his gun, disarm him, catch him off guard, and then we both yell at the other guy. To, or you yell at the other guy to yeah, yeah, your weapon. Yeah, you were the sniper. I was a sniper. You I rolled that, that from s- farming. Yeah, <laughs> shooting, yeah rabbits. shooting rabbits. Yeah. Yeah. You, made, you made that sweet shot, took out the dude, he's dropped his rifle. What's yeah. funny was... This is another thing I think it happened. I think we, I think I rolled to shoot him and you rolled to like hold up the other guy. Yeah, we yeah, yeah. Failed. We, yeah, yeah. We failed miserably. And we pushed it. You got this mechanic. You yeah. How does that, how does that mechanic work? St- Ollie didn't go into details, but he said if you push it and you fail again, it's bad. Yeah. It's like you can roll again. <laughs> yeah. But if you fail that one, it it's turns out to 11. Yeah. 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 So we're like, Got to. We got to. <laughs> yeah. So we both rolled it and we both made it. It was the most yeah, satisfying yeah. roll I've ever had in an RPG. Oh, we both rolled an eight too. We needed sixes to succeed. Yeah. We both rolled a D. No, you were rolling D12. Yeah. I think I rolled a D10 and we both rolled that eight at the same time. Yeah. I feel like it ticked over to the eight at the same time <laughs> yeah, and it landed yeah, there yeah. like a movie. Yeah. And we we're just like, yeah, we did the thing that we yeah. tried to do. That never happens to us. <laughs> Yeah, we always undo the thing we try to do. It was, oh, it was so it was so funny, and like because me failing the intimidation or whatever it was to make him put his other guy to surrender. Yeah, I just had this uh, vision of my guy, like you know, when like your voice breaks. And, <laughs> oh, God, that's guys, like, exactly. Put your hands up. <laughs> yeah, and then the guy's like, "What?" I'm like, "Put your hands up." <laughs> I imagine you <laughs> popping out of the bush, tripping over <laughs> as you're saying, "Put your hands up." <laughs> And dropping the gun, <laughs> and maybe it misfires and shoots you in the arm. <laughs> and I shoot the other guy, and it like pings off a saucepan near him and back and hits me, and we both end up. And then like, put your guns down, <laughs> and we're like, yeah, that's what I imagine would have happened. Yep, yep. And then having re-roll on that check, oh, it was so good. So it was great. We we did exactly what we wanted to do. We we shot a guy in the arm. Yeah. His gun. He didn't see it coming. No, he didn't see it coming. Mm. It was just there having a smoke or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And we popped him. Yep. And then we got down there and this is a... I didn't see this coming. This was a plot <laughs> that, twist. That was- <laughs> and we we're like, why did you shoot those guys? And they're like, flotty talky talk. <laughs> and that's... They, did. they didn't speak English. They did not speak Because we're in Sweden. <laughs> Or the Netherlands. And then I think there was a point where we were spending like five minutes trying to communicate, communicate with them and the most we could get out of them was just they didn't speak English. Yeah, yeah. We were trying to be like, we are trying to sign like, you shot and sort of gesturing to the dead people and being yeah. like, why? And then yeah. they like, tell us why because yeah, maybe yeah. they understood us. Probably in great detail. Probably, too. yeah. Explain. <laughs> they actually slept with our wives. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they, they fathered bastard children yeah. to our wives. <laughs> yeah. And, and trained those children to hunt and kill us actively. <laughs> and this was out there right now. <laughs> it could be anywhere. Are you <laughs> them? <laughs> well, the agent makes them. Uh, the agent yeah. makes them. <laughs> actually, I don't even know if we are from Australia. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, so, that was a bit of a dead end for us. Yep. Yep. 
So all we did, we <laughs> we slashed their tires, <laughs> typed, yoink, yoinked their shit. And taped them up. Yeah, and taped them up. <laughs> yeah. And booked it out of there. Yeah. And we took like two boxes of ammo. Oh, we took their guns as well. That's right. Now we've got good guns. Yeah. Like, well, we get an M16 and an M4, I think. Yeah. So you got an M4, I got an M16. Yeah. And we got a, a bunch of, I assume, yeah, Just five, NATO five, rounds. Yeah. 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 So we got guns and ammo. Yep. Yep. And, <laughs> and then as we're leaving, the like, oh, what was it? It was like, oh, let's do something. And Ollie's like, you hear a faint car rumbling. It's like, shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We yeah. gotta go. Yeah. That was as, as we were talking to them. Yeah. I think that was Ollie's way of saying, you guys are not making any ground <laughs> talking to these people that yeah. don't speak your language. Yeah. Let's started, move it along. Started doing like, just like Auslan and like different yeah, languages. Yeah. It's like, Ollie's like, it's not working. We're drawing guys. pictures in the dirt. <laughs> Like stick figures put holding out, guns. Put out a little notepad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So after we heard the car, we quickly slashed a few tires, yoinked yeah, that shit yeah. and headed back into the bushes. Yep. And then we um, <laughs> we saw the guys get out. Five of the guys. Five guys. Five guys. Got out of the car. Yeah. Like, and then they <laughs> freed their mates and their mates just started pointing up to where we were. And we're just like, yep. It's, That's it's, time to get out of here. Yeah. So... Oh, man. When you reflect on it, like, really all we did was we emerged, we checked out a few things, and we held those guys up at the checkpoint and w- ran back into the bushes. Yeah. But that did take us four hours. <laughs> it took a long time. Yeah. So, it was yep. a lot of banter. It was just so much fun. Like, doing um, dis- um, RPGs online in the Discord is is awesome. And it's a good way to, to do it with, you know, people from all around the world or all oh, around the country. Crazy. It's awesome. Um, and, but just being there in person, rolling dice, like you and, you and I both sort of said it, like this could easily be done once a week, once a fortnight, once a month. Oh, yeah. Like, you know, if if everything worked, like if everyone was yeah. nearby, like... There'd be, there's so much more motivation to play RPGs when you know it's in person. Yeah. And it's funny because like... I think it makes a lot of sense. I think people started to appreciate that more over COVID. Yeah, yeah. War, it's funny. Wargaming meant you could see people less, and the actual hobby itself boomed. Yeah, and like obviously you can do so much of the hobby at home. You yep. sit there and paint and stuff. But a lot of people were getting into, still getting into it for the games. Yeah, with that hope to one day play. But they're like, well, this is just time that I can paint my stuff so I can play in person. I think, mm. I think that's why, like. Wargaming is as popular as it's ever been. Yeah. Is that we've come out the other side and people actually appreciate those interactions. Same with board gaming. All tabletop gaming is booming. Definitely. Yeah. Um, even with like how good PC games are at the moment. Well, I was going to say they're good, but I, I think there's a bit of a creative uh, bankruptcy in <laughs> video games at the moment. It really is. Yeah. But anyway. It's like, another episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like yep. video games are more available than they've ever been. And so just, and they're so much more accessible yep. than our hobby. So people mm-hmm. are overcoming that accessibility hurdle just to be able to play <clears throat> with each other. Yeah. So yeah, I think that's what we have identified with RPGs. There's really no substitute for catching up and physically rolling dice yep. with your mates, having some brews. Yeah, it was awesome. It was. It was so fun. And Ollie does such a good job at like DMing everything like, yeah, that's a probably th- <clears throat> probably a thing that we didn't mention for those that are listening. Ollie lives in a different state to us, yeah, so usually when yeah. we play these RPGs, they're online, they're on Discord. He's about eight hundred kilometers from where we live. Yeah, 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 which is a decent walk. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a hike it's yeah. down the road. Here yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. only one state over. I think yeah, that would be like many states in most other countries. But I think so. That's other countries <clears throat> and other countries. Indeed. So. Yeah, this time he was down for the weekend, and we caught up and did it in person, yep. and it was incredible. Yeah, it was so much fun. So thank you, Ollie, for coming. For first of all, coming down and legend and playing the, and playing that game and running it and just creating everything. It was, but prior to that, he had spent a lot of time building this universe uh, in a forty k setting, and mm. you and I were both like, oh, just not quite. We just weren't feeling the forty k. Yeah, we weren't feeling that universe. We didn't really. We I guess we're we're more like, if we want to play an RPG, I feel like there's a newer, a deeper level of immersion I want. And mm. I don't know if I really get, I sort of felt, I felt that in Star Wars. I thought Star Wars was cool. Yep. Can't really imagine myself in the grim dark future where there is only war. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yep. How so, about the, uh, 19, what was it? What year is December? 2001 or something. And there's only war. Y2K. Is that fine? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is fine. <laughs> okay, Actually, cool. that's in my timeline. That's <clears throat> one year after my memory started, <laughs> my consciousness. Of course. 
So, yeah, that's good. Yeah. 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 So, set on this planet in this, you know, relative era. Yeah. In this century. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty cool. There's um there's a fair bit that went into the old um, Twilight 2000 timeline. It's deep. It's been going since 1984. Yeah. Um, and currently the it's, book predicted. it's in its fourth edition. Um, and that was that was 2021, I think, the fourth edition came out. So, it's pretty new. Yeah. Um, and I was looking into it some more and, like, they branched off with this same, um, same I guess, universe uh, with, like, one that's um, it's called, like, Mech. Two th- oh, sorry, Merc 2000. Interesting. And that's like a, <clears throat> not quite post-apocalyptic, but like skirmish. Uh, they call them um, brush fire wars, which are like oh, yeah. little conflicts that aren't full-blown Kind of like know, wars. One shots with custom rules type things or like I mini guess campaigns. Mini campaigns, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. cool. And then, and then there was another one, uh, Traveller 20, 2300, which is, um, I'm sure it's related to Traveller. Right, um, which which one I mentioned earlier, one that Ollie and I played for a bit, which is kind of like, imagine five parsecs from home, but like thick RPG vibes. Yeah, I think um, Traveller was one of the main inspirations of uh, Ivan in yep. making parsecs. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And is Traveller Ollie's favorite RPG of all time? Uh, yes, I think so. It's at least his top three. Yep. Yeah, I'm definitely. pretty sure it's his favorite. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's it's heralded <laughs> as one of the goats. So. Yeah. Yeah. So that's cool. Yeah. But um, one thing they had in the in the 90s, they were um, worried when they brought out Merc 2000, they did so because they thought that the whole Cold War gone hot was going to become obsolete. Like that- Interesting. World, that idea. <clears throat> sure. You know, I guess as, as the years went on, they're like, okay, Cold War is probably less and less of a- Sorry, a, a nuclear war is probably less and less of a- I guess a possible outcome for our uh, current, you know, sure. future. Sure. So they're like they like, they thought that to the general public that idea was going to become obsolete. And I just thought that was so like not ironic, but like the fact that yeah, you're thinking about the end of the world in that kind of way becoming obsolete. Yeah, like, like it's not something that people would relate to almost. Yeah, yeah. Which is funny because like the most popular TV show of this year so far is Fallout, yeah. a post-apocalyptic, yeah. post-nuclear yeah. setting. Yeah. I And like you look at all the success of, yeah, like Stalker and, and DayZ and stuff like that, those games that can, have clearly all been cut from, the, you know, the same cloth. Yeah, that, that post-apocalyptic that vibe. Yeah. Nuclear is is probably not ever going to become obsolete. Like. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that is <laughs> funny. That is yeah. funny they thought that. Yeah. And every day we stray closer to death <laughs> and f- further from God. <laughs> Forget all the sayings. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. We mm-hmm. loved it. We had a blast. Looking forward to playing yep. next. I don't know what we're going to do. We're still like between, there's five armed soldiers, five Dharm guards, <laughs> yep. and two drunk alunkers between yep. us and freedom. True. So I don't know what we're going to do next, but if you're listening and you're in the Discord and you want to jump in on this, yep. I don't know if it's too late. I don't think it is. It's nah. Or more the merrier. Sure, we can pick up some stragglers on the way. That's it. Yeah, we need help. We, we, need, need, we to need big help. We've got four help. guns now. We do, and only yeah. two people. <laughs> and so we can Rambo it. Oh, of course. We'll, but we'll we'll fail miserably. One's a bolt, at, one's a bolt action rifle. They, bo- they both are, right? We've both got bolt. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And an M16 is single fire, semi-auto. I don't know. Anyways. I don't know. Ask the Americans. M4. Uh, yeah, true. <laughs> Fat boy, Don. <laughs> Help they, us out. They've both touched M16s, I'm sure. It, oh, surely. Yeah. Just on their way to work. <laughs> <laughs> it just, it just, it takes it away from the front door. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it, uh, tripped on another one. The Who left happened? this lying around? Yeah, <laughs> damn kids. Damn kids. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we went dark again. Yeah. Anyway, uh, speaking of going dark, thank you to our patrons. Massive thank you to our patrons. <laughs> um, I can press this button because Church is not here. Here are our patrons. Thank you, patrons, <laughs> for being homies and main homies. Uh, for two bucks a month, you get early access to videos like this and all of our other stuff. As always, legendaries, MJ, Moose, Fatboy, Axe, Annex, Real Ones, Numa, that's you, Goats, Burnsy, Final Dinosaur, <laughs> Gridlock, Journeyman, 
Oh, sorry, OGs. We got Black Apollo, Alco, Church, who's not here. Rad Rooster, Ollie Hawkers, Pinny Agro, Don Juan, Don Pure Blind, Jackson V, Nathan A, Mini Warmer, and Big, big roach. roach. Hopefully not too big of a roach. No. Hopefully not a rad roach of Shoot sorts. Shoot it. Shoot it with our M16, M4, or whatever the other <laughs> American guns we have in Sweden. <laughs> yeah, NATO guns. They're NATO guns. Yep. Thank you all. Uh, just letting you know, we have a second channel mm. uh, where we do podcasts. No, no, we don't. No, that's on this channel. That's on this one. This is a podcast, apparently. <laughs> yep. yep. Um, that we do other videos, mm. battle reports, vlogs of Shane driving a tank, whatever else we yeah, feel yeah. like. I didn't drive it. I ride it in it. You what? I ride it in it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, mate. Okay, chief. <laughs> so go check that out. Uh, we will... It's all. It's been all war surge for a minute. Has been. For Going a to be a minute. bit of OPR soon as well. Yep. And then whometh knoweth whateth cometh mm. nexteth. <laughs> well, Toodles. <laughs> hey, we have a PO box. So oh if yeah. If you like to send us stuff, you can. It's PO box forty three, Lyra, Victoria three two one two. We'll take anything, even junk. Apparently, <laughs> junk and <laughs> garbage. Not, junk. not explosives or nuclear radiation. Well, nuclear waste. Of any sorts, yeah. please no. PO box won't. customs won't like that. <clears throat> we'll get a letter. We'll, we'll get Don't send letter. us a silencer. Yeah, <laughs> unless 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 <laughs> unless they're like you guys need a silencer because I don't want to hear this shit anymore. Yeah, just hit the mute button. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, I've got a silencer. It's this red X. <laughs> <laughs> hey, subscribe if you haven't, please. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, beg them. <laughs> beg <you. laughs> uh, we have two channels, like Fox said. If you can subscribe to both of these, because like sometimes. Like, I've watched oh, channels still before. Yeah, we're still going. <laughs> Church is not here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who's here to stop us? I've watched channels before, and I'm like, this is such a great channel. And then they say, hey, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe. And I'm like, imagine not being subscribed. Oh. <laughs> oh. I see those channels that are like, hey, why don't you subscribe? And, and I look, and I'm like, oh, wow, I've watched every single one of your videos, but I'm not subscribed. Well, fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> So, I mean, whichever side of the spectrum you fall on, yeah, please yeah. hit the button. Please. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think this is the right button. All right, we'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye. Woo! Big up to the boys. Fox and Shane. Set your minds free, no locks and chains. Do what you love. Roll the dice. 50 50, we cold as ice. One thing cold, but the pillow's already. Hey! 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 Hey